The Homerus swallowtail can only be found in Jamaica in two separate areas. One in the eastern end of the island in the Blue Mountain and John Crow Mountain chains and the other in the cockpit country in western central Jamaica. The aim of this project was to collect small hindwing samples from living swallowtails in each of the two populations and to analyse the genetic material from these samples to discover if the two totally isolated populations were similar or widely divergent in their DNA structure. This project is part of an overall conservation plan for this endangered species to prevent it from becoming extinct. As it is now recognised as Jamaica's national butterfly and its image occurs on both Jamaican currency and its postage stamps. We started this project in the Blue Mountain and John Crow Mountain area in a small town called Bowden Pen. The road from Millbank to Bowden Pen is a fairly rough one, but Dr. Garraway's Land Rover is the right vehicle for this project. Bowden Pen, we stayed at Ambassabeth Eco Lodge, which consists of several comfortable wooden chalets set on a slope facing the John Crow mountain range. In the kitchen area, staff prepare Jamaican style meals, and there is also a spacious dining and sitting room area. From the lodge, we set off up the winding Cornpus Gap Trail to look for a suitable site where we might be able to both see and hopefully catch a specimen of the magnificent Homerus swallowtail. The wait began and with our nets at the ready and with the use of a paper lure on a stick it was not long before we sighted a butterfly in the forest canopy. It alighted briefly on some undergrowth and then fluttered down into the clearing where Damien was waiting. Yes! Yay! Yes! Awesome! You got him. He's learning the patience, yes! isn't it? Yes! Yes! Eric then very carefully removed the butterfly from the net, holding it gently by the folded wings to prevent it from damaging itself. The group then gathered around to examine the specimen, which already had some degree of damage to the hind wings. The butterfly was a male, as distinguished by the pair of claspers on the end of the abdomen. The process of removing hindwing samples for the genetic study then began. Yeah, there you go. Right. Take off two more pieces. Like, a, like somebody cut out like a lizard or a bird. Mm -hmm. Cut out did a whole big... So this one? The first one. Yeah, take off the first piece. Eh? Okay. Take off the piece of that. Oh, so we're not worried about it with the punching. Mm, nah, this is okay. working great already. Right. Just cut mm -hmm. off a piece of that. You're going to go below and take off. Around here? Yeah. Oh, this is coming off. Forceps. Here. Take it off. Just use the forceps, take that off. Like you see the big piece, like it uh, came off symmetrical, like it was sitting somewhere. Mm -hmm. And you know, that whole of that piece mm -hmm. just got chopped off in one go. You know, mm -hmm. you know so symmetrically shaped mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Do we need um, the puncher? Next? We need another yeah. one. Yeah, just take the bottom piece now. Do we want yep. a puncher, Here. Dr. Yeah. J? No, we went just use scissors all the way through. Uh, okay. Tell me to stop it. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cut, cut. Oh, it's huh. moving, sorry. Oh, stop. Uh, oh, it comes off. It cannot probably oh. hurt. No, just the breeze is a problem. I think it'll go back to the rest of it too. But you lost quite a bit already from the symmetrical cut, must be the season where the wings close to get oh. to 
get it um uh, make it symmetrical that's the little wing there that little piece, little piece right here. yeah make it symmetrical mm -hmm. give her a symmetrical wing him, him. <laughs> you need to hold it over here Samples that were removed from the hind wings were then preserved in ethyl alcohol in small tubes. Specimens were then measured and recorded before being released. I want to let go. Bye, honey. Bye. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I and notice it just continues though nothing can happen. Yeah. Now it appeared to be Eric's turn to capture another butterfly in flight. After the capture, once again, the butterfly was very carefully removed from the net by Eric. Come, come. All right, Dr. G, let me get there. Back up. Rain's up to falling on my head. Good condition, got tails. Nice. Female. Female E20. Yep. Pregnant like hell. Oh. Can we clip our wings just the same? The pregnant female. This new butterfly proved to be a female in good condition, with an abdomen swollen with eggs. You left half the tail behind, it's alright. Let's see. Can we get another Wait. piece? Bye! <laughs> Having removed hindwing samples from a total of 15 specimens in this area, we then turned our attention to the examination of the larval food plant, Hernandia catalpifolia. We were lucky enough to film a female overpositing on the leaves of the food plant, as shown in this sequence. After the female had moved on, Shakira verified that eggs had actually been laid on the plant. Yeah. Close-ups of the leaves show both newly laid eggs together with empty eggshells where either a first instar larva or a parasite had emerged. In the cockpit country, we used similar techniques to capture the big butterfly. We saw very few specimens, but did manage to remove hindwing samples from two butterflies. It will be necessary to return to this area in the future to collect more samples to complete the genetic comparison of the two distinct butterfly populations. What's what? 